The wars of the 21st century are conducted not only by the dispatch of tomahawks in the air or Kalashnikovs on the ground, but also by means of bytes and bandwidths, by digital images, war movies, computer simulations and first-person shooter video games. The ties between militaries and show business are not new. In recent years, however, these historic ties have evolved into what experts have dubbed the Military Industrial Media Entertainment Network, or MIMENET. Focusing on the MIMENET gives us a deep insight into an emerging brave new networked world. A networked world where blockbuster movies, video games and simulations cross the boundaries between militaries, the defense industry, Hollywood, toy makers and the commercial gaming sector. A networked world where the entire spectrum of media today is mobilized for warfare in the information age. But before we can go there, before we can dive deep into today's MIMENET, we first need to understand what the MIMENET has evolved out of. Our starting point, therefore, is the military-industrial complex. On the 17th of January 1961, upon leaving the White House, US President Dwight D. Eisenhower gave his farewell address. And in his speech, Eisenhower issued the nation a dire warning about what he described as a threat to democratic government. He called it the military-industrial complex, a formidable union of defense contractors and the armed forces. We have been compelled to create a permanent armaments industry of vast proportions. Added to this, three and a half million men and women are directly engaged in the defense establishment. Now this conjunction of an immense military establishment and a large arms industry is new in the American experience. In the councils of government, we must guard against the acquisition of unwarranted influence, whether sought or unsought, by the military-industrial complex. The potential for the disastrous rise of misplaced power exists and will persist. Eisenhower was concerned with the rising influence of the military and the arms industry. A military-industrial complex whose influence would constitute a threat to democratic government. Why did he think that? And what were the reasons for his concerns? 